my name is Matt Bateman. I am the theory instructor at Prepared Montessorian, and I am really excited to teach a course this fall on the history of education. And um, I've been interested in these questions about the history of education for some time. If you look at today's education system that to us seems very normal, nothing seems more normal than K-12 education, typically followed by a university education. Um, and you start to peel back the layers, it's very odd. There's nothing normal about it. Why start at kindergarten? Why not earlier? Um, why go so long? Um, why go through university education? What, what, what's the nature of that time span? Why not more time? Why not less time? Um, what is the point of all of this? What is it supposed to land you with? And in today's society, you hear, um, you hear a whole medley of conflicting things without even that much awareness that they're conflicting. Everything from it's supposed to land you a job to it's supposed to um, help you become a good citizen, a functioning citizen of our democracy. What is the point of all of this education if there is one singular point? Um, and, um, and, and given what its point is supposed to be, become a good citizen or get you a job, it's not actually clear that it accomplishes any of those things. So is there some sort of um, reason for that or history behind that or, um, or secret cause, um, actual kind of aim that, that people don't talk about as much? Um, sometimes you hear about our education system being built on the factory model. Was education in the U.S. ever actually designed to put people in factories? And if so, when and why and what happened before and what happened after? Um, um, the movement to fix education, which many people that, I, that will be hearing this video are very interested in, alternative education, progressive education, education reform. What's the history of that? What was the original impetus for fixing education um, in the early 20th century, late 19th century? What gave rise to it? And what was the argument for traditional education? What was what was that system doing, the system of traditional education, and what was wrong with it? What were its defects originally? And how has that argument evolved over time? Um, I'm particularly interested in Montessori's role in all of this. Um, how does she fit in? Um, she was introduced to, to the US public in the 1910s, and by 1915, 1916, she was gone, kicked out of the country. Um, now she is seen as a major source of a major school of progressive education. What's going on there? What's the history of this kind of grassroots movement in relationship to um, what we think of as a mainstream education and then mainstream alternative education? So all of those things are what this course is about. If you, if you kind of zoom out, it's really about um, what are the big ideas in education going back 2,500 or more years um, in the West? Um, what what ideas really drove the emergence of something like systematic instruction, um, something like liberal arts education? How has it evolved over time, and how how has it changed, especially since the progressive movement came about in the 19th century? Um, and how does Maria Montessori fit into all that? So that's what we're going to be talking about. Um, we're going to be reading a lot of great things, um, a lot of primary sources in the history of education, um, and discussing um, the ancient Greeks straight up to the present. So. Really excited to get into it, and I hope I'll see some of you there.